Hi guys, uh, today we will learn how to give a text or an image a transparent background uh, using CSS. It's pretty easy, uh, so let's let's do this. Okay, let's add a one line of text, for example, paragraph of this is a text with red background. Okay, in our uh, main CSS file, let's style a bit our paragraph text so we can say background background color to be red okay we have this background of red and let's say just add some padding so we can see it better for example 20 pixels okay we have our red background but it's not transparent to make a background transparent we need to convert this hex code into our RGBA code. Okay, we need to go to the this website. It's a uh, hex to RGBA dot devas dot com. It's a super easy uh, method to convert your uh, hex value. Okay, we got our hex value of red, and we just set hex to RGBA. And on the right side, we'll we'll get uh, two values of uh, this color, but uh, our uh, value we need value is a bottom one because it uh, it has uh, this one extra number. I can I will show you why is this important. Copy RGBA and paste it back and pasted it back uh, instead of your hex code. Okay, we paste this RGBA code and uh, nothing happens, of course. It will never happen at the first time because this is a web development. You need to point, click and find out what is wrong. In this case, the wrong is this number one. We need to change this number one into 0 0.5. Uh, this is a uh, 50% transparency. If we want 20%, we just add two or one. You can see this is a bit uh, more transparent and um, it's super easy. Uh, one thing only you can you can write this uh, this last number. It stands for uh, alpha because this is a red, green, blue, and alpha. Alpha controls the transparency. If you don't have alpha, we have nothing. Okay, let's say it's a uh, uh, thirty percent percent. You can write also with oint with only a dot and a number three. You can add a zero here, but it will do nothing. So I will just write this like point three. Let's now uh, add a background transparency for our image. Okay, let's add our image. Image, uh, I will say it's a uh, image, go to image folder and uh, one image of motherboard. Okay. Okay, in, in our main CSS, we will add uh, also uh, an, in our image tag, we will add and also this background color, right? And you can you can see the background color because it's the same uh, as the image size. So we add just some padding to squeeze that content inside, for example, 30 pixels. And that's it, guys. It's a pretty simple, okay, let's say it's it's a 70%. Uh, we made some, uh, some uh, border around it and it's a pretty easy to do this. So don't forget that you need to convert your hex to RGBA and you are good to go. Thank you and bye bye.